In this video, we're going to show the disassembly and potential service points for the GMAC hub motor. Now, in order to open up one of the GMAC motors, all you need is a T20 Torx driver and a 15 millimeter wrench. Um, those are the only two tools required to open up, access all the insides. If you're doing further disassembly work to replace the gears, um, the clutch mechanism, you're also going to need a snap ring plier and a gear puller in order to slide the clutch assembly off the axle. Uh, so the GMAC motor is held together with a total of nine side cover screws on one side um, and then two jam nuts on the cassette free hub side. So it's really important to remember to remove the two jam nuts on the axle on the free hub side before you try to open up the motor or it's not going to come apart and you risk damaging components on the inside. Um, so to do that, you simply put on your 15 millimeter wrench, loosen that. If this uh, nut is on there really quite tight, uh, as you turn it, you may find that the whole axle twists inside the motor. And in that case, you want to install the torque arm on the disc side of the motor and use the torque arm at a, as a point of leverage in order to get more torque on that. In this case, it was loose enough to come off just with the inertia of the motor. Um, as you take off these parts, pay attention to exactly what you have. In this particular motor, I've got uh, the outer jam nut, a washer, a small thin spacer washer, and then an inner jam nut. Um, and I can remove all those things. Um, uh, when we reassemble this motor, it's uh, important to put it back in exactly the same way because these spacers uh, control the position of the outside of the axle to the inside dropout and ensure that you have just enough room for the cassette free hub body to fit on. Uh, so this inner jam nut has a beveled cutout on the inside, and it's really important that when you put it back together, that bevel is not facing into the ball bearing, or it risks actually crushing the seal of the ball bearing. You really want to make sure that the jam nut goes on with the flat surface right up against the bearing shoulder um, to make sure that you're compressing the right part of the ball bearing there. Um, so with both of those nuts removed, now the entire inside of the motor is able to slide out. Uh, so we'll remove the nine screws with the T20 Torx. Okay, and at this point, the uh, opening up of the motor doesn't usually require any special force. If you simply push down on the axle, the whole motor assembly just slides out like that. Um, and so now we can see the shell of the motor. Um, and you can see the six speed sensing magnets on the side plate of the shell. Um, if you were opening up the motor in order to service or replace the free hub body, um, you would then use one of the um, special spanner wrenches that fits inside the two notches in the, the free hub assembly, and that would let you unscrew the free hub. Um, if you're opening the motor in order to do cable harness repair work, um, and that would be the case here, you can see that this is a motor um, that unfortunately had cable damage right where it exits the axle hole there. Um, then we also need to now remove the side cover from here. Um, usually you can do this without the need for any tools, um, just by pushing with your kind of body weight. Um, if you find that it is a little bit tight, uh, you can use a gear puller on the side plate. Um, you can also just tap it gently if you want. Um, so I just give it a couple light, light hits here. Um, so it's just, okay, so, um, so now I can see as you approach the point where the, the cable is going to get pinched, you just want to keep a, a close eye on that detail to not nick the cable any further. And off that comes. So the side plate of the GMAC motor has a very large diameter thin O-ring on it. Um, be careful not to lose that O-ring or let it get pinched or torn when you're working on the motor because you are counting on that large O-ring in order to seal the motor when you reassemble it against water ingress. Um, so now we've got the GMAC motor core open and available. Um, so now we can access where the electrical wires connect for the three hall sensors, the speed sensor, the internal thermistor, if any of those need to be uh, repaired uh, for some reason. Um, and we can also see from this side the gear assembly. So we've got the planet carrier with the planet gears. Um, the ring gear itself is on the side cover of the motor. Um, if we wanted to remove the gearing and do service work on the gears, uh, that's where we need to use the snap ring plier in order to remove the snap ring that's on the axle here. Um, and then we'll use the gear puller in order to slide that whole planet carrier off of that. Okay. 
and now the planet carrier is a, a very tight fit on the axle, and it also has a keyway. In fact, there's potentially two keyways on the axle to hold that against rotation. So when you pull this off, it's important not to let that piece of key stock fall out and get lost, because uh, you absolutely need it during the reassembly of the motor. Um, otherwise, the planet's carrier will just spin around and you'll get no torque on the Just fits through the connector assembly. Um, so here you can see the, the piece of key stock that's inside the axle. Um, and there should be two pieces at 90 degrees from each other. Um, and now we have access to the full planet carrier. So if you were uh, replacing the gears and you don't have the whole assembly with all three gears, uh, each of these planets can be removed again uh, with a pair of snap ring pliers. And that will free the uh, ball bearing to slide off the planet holder here. There we go. Uh, so just like that, the snapping comes off, and then you can uh, hopefully just slide off the, the gear itself. Um, so you could do that and then remove all three of the planet gears if you needed to replace those as well. Um, so the reassembly of the GMAC motor is exactly that same sequence in reverse. Um, I'm not going to reassemble this motor because we took it apart as it needs a cable harness replacement. Um, just remember, when you do reassemble the motor, it's really important that you don't forget the key stock to hold the uh, planet carrier in place, um, that you don't forget any of the snap rings. So if you slide the gear on but you don't have the snap ring, then the gear is able to, to, uh, to slide and rub against parts of the motor while things are operational. Um, that also includes the snap ring that holds the entire planet carrier in place. Um, and then when you reassemble the motor shell, uh, be sure to reinstall the jam nuts on the cassette free hub side in exactly the same orientation as they came off. Um, and then the motor will go back together just as easily as that.